Sorry, we had uh, some kind of technical troubles. I think now it's working. Okay, now directly we can go to the meditate. Uh, have a comfortable seats. Keep your body upright. Take a breath. Let it go slowly. Again, take a deep and long breath and let it go slowly. Cut off the whole world, come to this moment. All the memories, future plans, keep away from your mind. The mind is relaxed, happiness is increasing. You are living in this moment. Let us use this wonderful opportunity to generate metta. Starting with you, generate metta to yourself and share with others. And then at the end, you can generate metta to the universe. All living beings, human, non-human, living near or far born or coming to birth, Focusing to the universe, you can generate metta at the end. May I be well, happy and peaceful. Generate more and more metta to yourself and share with others. At the end, break all the boundaries and limits. Just practice metta to the universe.
being in metta upliftment continue in mindfulness switch to practice mindfulness of breathing meditation pay full attention to your inhalation and exhalation mindfully breathe in breathe out keep your mind and up your nostril and watch a natural inhalation and exhalation breathe in breathe out be aware whether it is a short breath or long breath when you are taking short breath understand as a short breath when you are taking a long breath understand as a long breath as a well less exhaling painful attention see how important the breath is whenever you stop breathing and out that would be the last moment of this existence but the breath is not me the breath is not mine the breath is not myself either conventionally we can talk about about the breath but absolutely there is nothing such a things to take as a breath you can see generating and vanishing generating and vanishing so finally you can see rising and falling the breath is a process in this process you can see it is changing all the time when you start to breathe in at that moment it has been changing is changing and changing nothing existing changing and changing which is in permanent that is full of suffering this is a universal nature which is in permanent as well as full of suffering such a things no one can take as myself it is selflessness is there the life is dependent on the breath but the breath is in permanent full of suffering and selfless so how about the life it is also impermanent this is the life also uh, in in a process these three characteristics are unique through your development try to see these three characteristic as as realization take a time and practice mindfulness of breathing meditation developing your concentration open your mind to gain wisdom to see the reality breathe in breathe out
दुख पता चनि दुख भया पता चनि भया सो का पता चनि सो का पंतु सबे पिपानिनो साधु 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 थैंक यू लेट अस हैव आवर दम सर्मन टुडे आवर स्टेंसा देर आर टू स्टेंसा दम पद 153 and 154 these two stanzas are very important and also you might heard these stanzas these are the stanzas uttered by the buddha when he was attaining enlightenment after his enlightenment he saw his joy happiness because he pre from sansarik journey and then he expressed his happiness through these instances aneka jati sansaram sandha visang anibisang gahakarakam gave santo dukha jati punak puna gahakarak ditto si punage hang na ka hasi sabhate phasuka bhagga gahakutam visankitam visankara gatam chittham tannahanam khayam ajjaka these two stanzas explaining about what is sansara the nature of the sansara and when someone in that sansarik circle how would be the nature of that person's mind through many a birth i wonder in sansara the buddha is telling through many a birth i wandered in sansara seeking but not finding the builder of the house sorrowful is it is to be born again and again aneka jati sansaram sandha visang nibbisam gahakar kam gave santo dukkha jati punap punap that's the meaning of persistence the second one oh thus builder do art seen do sal build no house again thou sal not thou sal not build house again all thy rafters are broken thy rich pool is shattered my mind has attained the unconditioned achieve is this end of craving the buddha express his happiness through this stanzas anega jati sansara i have been gone through this sansara having numerous birth and death numerous time birth and death sandha visam anibisam so i was seeking the found but i was not able to find it but now i know the builder of the house i knew who is building this house what is that house sansara birth and death circle seen the person who is creating this house i was able to finish the material not to make any houses for me in this sansara house means in here these five aggregates five aggregates are gathering together because of the karma the energy that we have come the influence of the energy as you know in depending origination we start with avijja paccha sankhara ignorance 
What is ignorance? Ignorance is not something, it is an energy. Ignorance is not a person. Ignorance is uh, not me. Ignorance is not myself. It is not soul. Ignorance is energy. Energy, the word energy is kind of uh, controversial because if you're talking about energy, you can measure energy. But this energy is something unmeasurable. You can't measure this energy. But we don't have any other word to explain the karma, explain the avijja. But anyway, avijja is the main reason. Avijja is the energy which create this sansaric journey. So, attaining enlightenment, I found this. Attaining enlightenment, I found this. I found my mistake, my avijja, ignorance. Seeing that ignorance, I was able to get rid of my ignorance. That is the enlightenment. I was able to get rid of my ignorance. I was able to neutralize my energy. No more birth for me. Why? I found the reason. What is the reason for suffering to stay in this sansaric journey, birth and death circle? This is the power. This is the hidden thing. Avijja. Avijja always connecting with karma. Karma create because of pavijja. Karma create by avijja. If you are living with avijja, no one can stop the karma. White karma or black karma, it does not matter. Karmas, naturally, karma is there with avijja. So that's why sansara is starting with avijja. In this, this sansara is not a creation of someone else. Avijja is the creator of this sansara. Avijja is not a person, it is an energy. You can see with your general uh, thoughts, common sense. When you are collecting some garbage from your place, your house, you are you ready to take that garbage outside and then somehow perhaps you can keep those garbage end of your backyard. When you are ready to keep that garbage outside your backyard, within a few weeks, the garbage ready to connect with the earth environment, it has enough sunrise. It has enough, enough moisture. With the combination of all these things, then there should be a plant. No one put their plants, but because of these combinations, you can get a plant there. That plant is growing and growing, then after uh, uh, grow enough, it's ready to give some flowers for us. Then we are ready to get some fruits. This is the nature. So, is this happen with the uh, influence of uh, unseen power, uh, super power person? No. It's not happening with the help of any unseen power. What is there? Energies are there. Sunrise means energy. Moisture is energy. All that garbage and the environment, the soils and everything create that energy. All these are the combination there, gathered together. Then because of this combination, then it's ready to produce something. It's happening that this is the nature of the energy. As you know, we can see how energy is working in this world. We can see lights. We are connecting through this electricity power. What is electricity power? Electricity power is kind of energy that we have in this environment. Can you see that energy? 
through your eyes? No, you may not be able to see that. Even my body has some kind of energy. Can you see that? No, no one can see. The energy is there. But in here, the energy which is created in the samsaric journey, that energy is not like the energy that we have in day-to-day -day life, consuming thing. That energy is different because this energy is unmeasurable. What is this energy? Kama. Kama is a creation of your ignorance. Anyone can realize they are come, how much come they have, how much come they are accumulating. No one can realize it. But seeing some results, we can assume about the come. But generally, no one can. This is the nature. This energy is unmeasurable. No one can measure this energy. Which energy? Energy which coming through ignorance, avijja, the karma. So, Aneka Jati Sansara, Buddha had so many lives in his previous birth. He was wandering here and there because of this energy. Because of this energy. Not something else. We born to this world because of that energy. We have some abilities because of the energy. We have, we can create something because of that energy, the karma. So Buddha was wandering here and there in Sansara. Then he said, Gahakara Kangave Santu, I pound. I pound. Who I pound? I pound the creator. Who is the creator? Creator is your ignorance. Creator is your avijja. I found that avijja and then dukkha jati puna punam. I was able to get rid of that energy. I was able to neutralize that energy, not to produce anything for me. So how it's come? Buddha realized the truth. What is the re realization? Impermanent suffering, selflessness. Dear friends, in this world, we are experiencing this, but we are not realizing. We are not realizing. See, King Siddhartha, when he was going for, going to the, his, going to his uh, royal park, on the way, he met sick person, old person, uh, dead body, and a man, man, uh, 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 mendicant. Seeing these four people, he was able to think about impermanence situation in the world, the nature. And then he was questioning himself. One day, I would be that person who is the sick person it means this body is the place for all these sicknesses. No one can know it is the nature. And one day I would be that person who is the old one. One day I would be that person, the cough. So seeing all these significant things, he was able to open his mind. And then what I should do? as a treatment, because all these stages are going to be suffer. No one can avoid. I don't want to be suffer. I want to be, I want to accept all these stages with happy and pleasant movement. How I can do that? Oh, what is the reasons to be worried? Worriness come through your ego. Worriness come through your ignorance. So, I have to treat for that ignorance. That's it. That is the reasons to have great renunciation. That is, that is why King Siddhartha renounced the world, seeing that nature. He was able to realize that. So, abandoning lay life, becoming ascetic, he started to search 
the way how we can get rid of this energy how we can neutralize this karma and then he was going through the teachers alara kala muddha karam all all these are the teachers who met him then he was not satisfied with their teaching he was very talented person therefore he was not satisfied with them at the end he think he thought himself instead of going to through the teachers better to practice myself when he start to practice himself there were group of people joined with him which we call paswaga uh, tauso the five ascetics they joined with him then six of them practice together continuously six years king siddhartha king ascetic siddhartha was thinking why i am wasting time to sleep i want to use that time to practice meditation why i i want i don't want to waste my time to search in food i want to use that time also to practice meditation now he stopped sleep he stopped eating whatever the things he can take through moving his hands he was able to eat that to survive no eating no sleeping he use all the time to practice meditation spend in 6 years so the so he realized no this is not the real path something is missing there then he started to eat in uh, following the middle path not going into any extreme ent- extreme levels stream levels then he was able to apply noble eight pole path aryo attangiko maggo noble eight pole path apply noble eight pole path he was able to open his mind to gain wisdom gain in wisdom he realized the nature the reality what is that in permanent suffering selflessness seen these three characteristics he was able to get rid of his avijja he was able to open his mind to see the things as it is this is the reality this is the realization seen that reality gaha karaka ditto si punage hang na ka hasi oh house builder thou art seen i saw you house builder house i i saw you thou shall build no house again you can't build any houses for me again this is the last house for me all thy rafters are broken rafters are broken now therefore there is no any way to build anything beyond uh, using this structure the structure had been broken now the rich pole is shattered my mind has attained the unconditioned unconditioned means unlimited thinking ability is unlimited the buddha can think very very far away objects unbelievable normally in our human capacity we are not able to realize how much capacity the buddha had thinking ability achieve is this end of craving achieve this end of craving i i am realizing the truth i was able to get rid of my ignorance now i am free from all the defilements 
unlimited mind unconditioned what are the unconditioned thoughts that i have loving friendliness compassion sympathetic joy equanimity dear friends if you have these thoughts with you if you have these feelings with you there is nothing to cause for any unhappy situation you don't get any unhappy situation because you are full of loving friendliness we also have these qualities but only for the moment we are not established we did not develop into sustainable level our level our qualities are depending on very short time period therefore we are not able to manage our ignorance and all these defilements is uh, sometimes is destroy our mind then loving friendliness thoughts will go away from our self compassionate thoughts will go away from us because we did not establish our happiness to establish these qualities with you what you should do you should eliminate the things which is going against these qualities which is going against you know all these qualities are the level top level of human life compassion love and kindness sympathetic joy there is a simile take take some uh, metal objects which is little bit heavy throw it up it subject to get in down why because of gravitation when you able to do something against this gravitation power then you can keep that things that materials up all the time this is the simile to think about our defilements we are not able to maintain our loving kindness compassion and sympathetic joy because of our defilements always defilements are the gravity is taking taking down our qualities are taking down with the power of these defilements so when you able to treat these defilements control reduce and eliminate these are the treatments when you able to do that then you can keep your mind each and every moment with full of loving friendliness compassion sympathetic joy and equanimity when you are living with these qualities you don't have worries you don't have any matters troubles you are free from all the troubles and matters so, so when buddha attained this level he uttered these stanzas to express his joy express his happiness so this is the goal that we working on we are working on to achieve this goal to liberation the liberation is not something else the liberation is this sansarik liberation sansarik means death and birth circle liberation we have a life so as well as the life we have suffering we have to take care of this body this life so we have to pay so many uh, uh, attention so many ways our at- attention and so many duties and responsibilities are they are to take care of this just take care of this body the life so when you able to see the reality you can get rid of all this unhappy situation for, from your mind so your liberation your own liberation is not coming through someone else that liberation is your uh, liberating from your defilements your defilements defilements are not belongs to someone else but generally as you know we ready to point out someone else he did something to develop my anger he is the person who create me crazy we ready to point out but dear friends no one is there turn to yourself 
my mind is not developed enough that's why i have anger my mind is not developed enough to see the reality that's why i am living with all these defilements so what i should do i should pay full attention to develop my insight to see things as it is this is the realization when you able to see thing as it is then there is no reasons to have any angry thoughts unhappy thoughts worries troubles stress anxiety or depression because realization so as the reality when you when you ready to touch that reality at that reality level you don't have anything which is which is directly caused for your unhappy thoughts unhappy thoughts there is no any reason the reason is for your unhappiness avijja that is the only reason so we are working for that we are working to get rid of this avijja to gain wisdom through that uh, uh, path this is the main purpose that we that's why we are practicing meditation we observe precepts we do uh, 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 practice generosity all these activities are based on to get to top this suffering this sansaric journey gain wisdom so having that aspiration let us practice this dhamma then we are able to fulfill our duties and responsibilities being born as a human beings this is very important for our life so buddha was very peaceful happy at that moment because he was able to get rid of this sansaric journey and we have to use that opportunity one day i want to gain that happiness same as the buddha this is the way how i can respect to the buddha because buddha never asked to offer some flowers vegetables fruits and things for him what buddha asked follow my dhamma try to see me through the dhamma three try to see me through the dhamma dhamma is not something belongs to me it is the universal nature so as a buddhist follower what we should do we should apply this method for what for our own liberation to destroy the energy which energy avijja ignorance and kamma this is the energy so let us work develop your mindfulness develop your energy to practice and pay full attention to your path and uh, path and activities and then we will able to get rid of all the suffering through the enlightenment so having that aspiration we can end up today session thank you very much your participation now let us use this opportunity to share merits with the departed one first of all uh, think about your relatives friends family members who departed uh, name of you by the power of this merits and metta thoughts may they all be well happy and peaceful having that aspiration say sadhu 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 whoever is affected by covid 19 and any other sicknesses by the power of this merits and metta thoughts may they all be well happy and peaceful may they be able to get rid of their suffering and pain having that aspiration make blessings upon them saying sadhu 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 may you all be well happy and peaceful all your wishes come true by the power of the spirits and metta thoughts may we all be able to attain ultimate bliss of nibbana having that aspiration say sadhu 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 by means of this meritorious deeds may i never join with the police may i join always with the wise until the time attain nibbana may the suffering be free from suffering may the fear struck be free from fear may the grieving be free from grief so too may all beings be from the highest realms of existence to the lowest 
May all beings arisen in these realms, with form and without form, with perception and without perception, be released from all suffering and attain to perfect peace. Excellent, excellent, excellent. Thank you very much. Thank, Thank you, you man. Man.